ministry, coupled with his insistence on genuine personal repentance, offended many in Jerusalem's religious establishment. Usually, people try to avoid trouble, but Jesus set his direction straight towards those who were plotting to kill him. For the celebration of the Passover, Jesus entered Jerusalem for the last time. Behind the scenes, under the radar of politics and religious courts, a dark power was waiting. And when the soldiers came to arrest him, Jesus gave himself up. But even at that moment, he chose to respond with love and compassion rather than violence and anger. Brought up under false charges by the Jewish religious authorities, Jesus was sentenced to the Roman method of execution, crucifixion. Betrayed by the very ones he had come to save, Jesus was condemned to be nailed to a wooden cross by his wrists and feet. It was an excruciating, slow, and very public way to die. For Jesus, this horrible death was undeserved. As he gave his life, he looked beyond to God's bigger story of salvation that was being played out in his life and death. army would have come to his side, yet bleeding, suffering, and rejected, he took those final steps to the place he was to die. And so when they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him. Nails were pounded into his flesh, to his wrist. and his feet raised up on the cross. He looked out to the faces of the jeering crowds and saw the reason he came. The blood that would cleanse the souls of all men 